Asian carp are a big problem for some lower portions of the Tennessee River. Yeah, they're an invasive species of fish originally introduced to the U.S. from Asia. Channel 3's Allison Pryor has more on why the spread of this invasive carp is concerning. Allison, is, uh, tell us, are there more than one kind of this fish? Yes, there are four species of Asian carp, but officials and scientists are most concerned with silver carp, which look a little like an upside down fish because their eyes are really low on their heads. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency received their first report on January 10th of a silver carp captured on Chickamauga Lake. Silver carp are one of the most abundant invasive carps we have. They jump out of the water, so they're a hazard to boaters. And because they are so abundant, they literally are crowding out our native species. Asian carp feed on plankton, which removes a food source for native fish, harming the population. The more species that disappear because of invasive species, including the silver carp, the weaker that ecosystem gets and the less clean water we have for drinking, swimming and eating other fishes. That's because nature and native species are good at cleaning and filtering water. Additionally, increases in silver carp may financially affect bass fishing tournaments in the area. The carp have migrated upstream through locks with barge traffic. In order to prevent further spread upstream, barriers are being implemented at locks. It's a barrier of bubbles, sound and lights that hopefully upset the fish, scare them and they won't go into the locks and go past the dam with the barges. There are also incentives to increase commercial fishing of carp in order to reduce the fish's numbers. If you catch a silver carp or one leaps into your boat, keep it, freeze it, take a picture of it when it's alive and contact uh, your local fisheries agency here in the state it would be TWRA. You can find more information about eating Asian carp and their spread upstream from the Tennessee Aquarium and TWRA inside of our app. Reporting in the studio, Allison Pryor, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. TWRA officials say Chickamauga Lake is still an outstanding fishery. They are raising awareness now because we have a chance to protect it.